is the first video I'm ever recording with oh, my fucking camera. So let's uh see. Speak no evil. Hear no evil. See no evil. Eat no evil. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Let's go see this movie. All right, guys, let's go see Speak No Evil. Shh. That right there had to be one of the first horror movies to fucking traumatize me. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I gotta talk about this. Whew. Straight shot of adrenaline. Holy fucking shit. So I just got out of seeing Speak No Evil and honestly guys, um, I never thought a third act would build up so much intensity. Honestly, guys, this is one of the very few, very few horror movies that actually kind of freaked me out. Not just that, but made me have terrible trust issues. Um, I, I, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Um, performances. James McAvoy, this, this reminded me that he's actually a very talented actor and so fucking underrated. Like, his performance in here might just be his best performance, in my opinion. Dude, fucking chills, man. It's spine-tingling, intense. I don't think, there were, the first hour of the movie, it's a slow buildup. You gotta accept that. That third act has to pay off. Like, it's set up so well. So when you get to that third act, it's, it's all just fucking amazing. Um, Honestly, guys, I'm glad I checked this out because I there was a time I, I was going to see this and I was like, uh, maybe I'll pass on it this year, but I'm glad I did it because I don't get adrenaline from a horror movie. I don't get scared, but there is one jump scare in here that got me because I was so glued to that fucking screen. I mean, even though I will admit the first hour was boring and it was kind of hard to get sit, sit through, but there were kind of good qualities in there. Like, my blood, I, I just felt like rushing through me because I was like, like just like jaw dropped to the ground. Some of the stuff in here is so fucking unsettling to me. Like there's this part, it's just the acting, the music, the acting in here, let's talk about it. Top notch. Every single actor in here. And I am i don't like to shit on kid acting. And I'm not going to because the kids in here. This is some of the best kid acting I have ever seen in a movie. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Honestly, I might get this on DVD. And I honestly would love having this a part of my collection. It knows how to build up intensity. I mean, Blumhouse has been coming out with a bunch of stinkers lately. I didn't mind Imaginary. I actually liked it a lot more than other people did, but it could have been better. However, this is a fucking banger, dude. Oh my god. This is just, it knows how to build up intensity. The end pays off, has great jump scares, the acting is top notch. It's just a great movie. And when you are listening to music and you hear those Spotify. <laughs> ads about uh, James McAvoy's uh, fucking performance at Spy Thing. Everything is 100% true. I can, this movie deserves the Golden TV and I'm going to give it a 95%. Honestly, really shocked. One of the best horror movies of the year. That's all I got to say, guys. Um, really, really good movie. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.